Are you alright after last week's disaster? Hey, you guys. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. He's alright. It was fake. It was Oasis. <laughs> it was fake. There was a bit of debate in the comment about whether you were drinking too much squash or you actually had too many blood thinners. It was Oasis. It was Oasis. But um, you are surrounded by thinners. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's all right. We're um, all right. The RS 1600 did not claim another victim. I don't know. How many victims has it claimed? I don't know. I'm a bit worried now. It <laughs> could be many. <laughs> could be many, many. Right then, so what are we doing? Wing, got to go on. All these repairs, all the little patches and little bits and bobs are all done. A little bit more grinding to do. I'll tell you what, in let me grab the places. camera and we'll have a closer look. So look at all this lovely fab work in here. That well, is that, all complete. That patchwork, that was the bit we did before A&E had to arrive. <laughs> That's all welded in, buttoned up. I also found that bit there was completely rotten, which is unfortunate because we now have to go into the scuttle with the paintwork. Yeah. That's a bit of a pain in the butt because the wing is a different color to the scuttle. Brilliant. So we are now choosing which color to paint the scuttle. Um, well, be whatever we've got in we the tin. We see what we've got in the tin, yeah. Also, that in there has all been welded up. I need to grind that back a little bit, but that's all solid. Yeah. And internally... Does that get seam sealer on it? Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah. And a lot of stone chippy sort of stuff. All yeah. this is all zipped up and ready for a very small scheme of filler and... Oh, yeah, a little sandy. bit trimming for the uh, battery, yeah. uh, for the that blower box. It really offends you, doesn't it? It does offend me, yeah. but um, it won't be there for long. But no, that is beautiful in there. Beautiful. Close yeah, enough, I close. Think the is. Yeah, so hopefully primer by the end of the day, maybe. Well, let's just get the wing and put it on so we can see what we're doing. Have a look. But no, look, beautiful all yeah. together again. So yeah, here we go. This has just got to go on. This is the last bit of fab that needs doing. That wing just needs to be welded into place. Sorry guys, there's not really a lot of space for me to walk around in here today. No. So back into position, primer, bit of paint, slap it back together yeah, and I've, job is done. Speaking of paint, I've just got to um, clean up and put a bit of paint on this inner wing. Yep. whilst it's off because that's the best time to do it. Oh god, yeah, so much easier. We will be on to paintwork and it will be painted by the end of this episode. Right, I shall leave you to crack on with the uh, finishing up and priming. Yay! Fit a bonnet by yourself, he said. It would be easy, he said. No moisture will get through. Right then guys, all the little bits and pieces have been done. We've finished off this little bit of metal work. This, this whole corner here was also completely rotten. You can't see what I'm pointing at. So yeah, this corner here was completely rotten, that bit there. So we've had to put a patch in there, which unfortunately meant now we have to paint the scuttle. Great. Anyway, at least it's now solid. Um, so with that done, we are now at the point where we can fit the wing finally. So let's get it on. Let's get the wing on and start tacking it up into place, getting the thing to fit correctly. and so on. I think I'll start here, because that's kind of got to fit there, isn't it? Where, where, the, where we've sliced it off at the front here. We'll just butt it right back up to that right there, and we'll just stitch that right back into place. And we'll work the rest of the wing around that, I think. All right, they will hold it very nice, it's, it's, it's gone right back in the right place. So now we'll push and hold this, maybe put, maybe we can get a clamp or a tack or something in, we'll mark it somehow to hold it exactly there whilst we can tack it. I don't know how we're gonna do this bit. Right, I managed to um, open the bonnet and sort of hold it roughly 
where the wing needed to be and I managed to get a screwball in with the bonnet open. Um, so I don't really know if it's exactly in the right place, but I'm sure it's in the ballpark. I was holding the wing. Let's shut the bonnet and see if we're in the ballpark. I've also taken the catch and um, springy bit off the bonnet because it was just getting a bit of a pain in the ass to open and close. But we're happy with that. So I think I'm gonna get a couple more screw bolts in the wing, maybe two more, because it's a bit high at the, in the middle. I'd like to see that pull down a little bit more. We'll leave the screw bolts in there then, and then we'll focus on the back part of the wing. So we've got a motorbike jack thingy, a huge chunk of aluminium, a clamp, and a piece of wood, which is the right spacing to hold it out the gap out. And then when I pull it in like that, I can get it absolutely bang on and the, and the lines line up perfectly and everything. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into inside the wing area and I'm gonna give it a tack to hold it there. And then once that's there, I think we're gonna be very happy with the way the wing is. So it's a bit of a fiddle getting them exactly in the right place. It's just the nature of the car, I suppose. Let's have a little catch up, shall we? So, we've got the wing on, we've capped it to the bonnet, we've capped it to the door, it's all welded up. The battery tray is in and modified to be the right battery tray at the right angle. Um, we've done all the filler work and we've done all the primer work and we've done all the sealer work. Well, not quite all the sealer work, there's a little bit more sealer work to do just before paintwork. Paintwork, let's talk about paintwork. This is the color that we got from independent paint supplies. And I think we're quite lucky that it's a good match to the scuttle, but the wings are clearly darker uh, and they're clearly darker on the car. Um, and there's not much we can do about that. I'm trying not to paint too much of this car. All the paintwork on the front, it's all gonna be hidden behind the bumper, the light, the splitter. Blue is a pain in the butt anyway. Speak to any painter, metallic, light metallic blues, they shift quite a lot on angles. So there's, there's quite a sharp angle here, there's a sharp angle there, and the shift in light will really make a huge difference as to what color you think you're looking at. And um, it depends on how you paint it. Uh, if, if you, if you Say if I was to paint this car and I took the doors off, painted the shell, painted the door separately and bottled them on, they'd be two different colors because that's the nature of light metallic blues. Um, so you kind of have to blend and paint through the whole car in one hit. Um, yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. 
Anyway, moving on. Positivity, we've got a good color. Let's get it prepped and masked and painted and then hopefully we can get rid of this car this week. That'd be nice. Moving on to the next project. I wonder what that's gonna be. Gosh, right, that was a long weekend doing all the paint work. Mo's back from holiday. I'm back, yeah. How's it going, Mo? Job really good, it's, it's really great to be back, actually. It's a nice holiday, and he's all day from his holiday. Doesn't that sound normal for everybody? Sounds familiar. <laughs> um, anyway, the car is painted, and the color match is fantastic to the scuttle, not to the wings, because the wings are the wrong color. Um, so that just leaves us one more job, mate. What's that? Put it back together. Let's go. Let's get it back together. Let's get all this stuff back in. Let's get all the interior back in. Let's get the panels back on. Let's make it look like an Escort again. We will have to shut it underneath Ooh, Dynax yeah. treatment and all of that, but that's part of the job. Cool. Let's um, start putting these important bits back together.
so thank you ever so much for tuning in to watch this um it's been an extremely fun job to do i mean we've cut off that much of the bulkhead with the engine in that's quite a job um so yeah nothing much more to say other than ciao guys tune in next week <laughs>